today we are going to talk about uh, scatter plots and the plotting and various uh, you know functions which are available so for that uh, we need some certain values in x direction certain values in y direction so let's make a, a vector say 1 Two, three, four, five, six. Let it be six values only, and then let's make uh, y, and uh, we'll just vary it a bit. Say mm, zero and uh, one, two, zero, two, four, four, eight, six. So again, we have. similar values the number of elements should be you know similar and how we are going to plot we just have to write plot this is the important thing plot and just x comma y that is the x this uh, list of vector in this list so this is a graph this is a figure this is a scatter plot now there are various things which are available with this for that we can go to x label you know you have a editable version here you can just give like data 1 here then you can go to say uh, y label which is the data the name of the data in the y axis for that you can go give data 2 it will you know become become a uh, vertically by itself and then uh, you can also give title that this is my plot this is also possible and there are various things you know you can uh, try it out one more thing is there there is a data cursor you can click it and you can go to certain position and you can find out the value at this point and using your arrow up and down arrow you can also navigate through it so this is how uh, plot is generated in matlab now let's uh, do some more functionalities as uh, we have just seen that we have given certain values we know if we have certain values with uh, uh, common difference then for that we can make a a vector of equal difference uh, say from 0 to uh, 10 with a difference of 2 0 to 10 with a difference of 2 so a list will be a vector will be generated automatically and let's say i wish on my y axis the value to be say x cube so x uh, cap cube but this is not going to give my uh, actual result because we want cube of every element for that we need to place a dot here okay this is also the uh, cube now we can plot and plot xy so this is the plotting this is the plotting of um, x and y or uh, basically x cube and uh, let us vary it from because x was for from uh, 0 to 10 make it from minus 10 to 10 with a variation of 2 and again find out the y value this is y cube so we have x and y value and again plot so this is kind of you know smooth plot i can also plot uh, sin x cos x and uh, i can plot two values at a time two uh, graphs can be seen or i can say that multiple graph can be plotted on a single figure so how uh, we can do it let's make a say uh, certain values x is equal to 0 um, to 10 and with a difference of 0.1 for that okay x is been made 
and let's make y also what can be y y is equal to say sin x y is sin x so we have x and y and uh, let's make another function that is f is equal to cos x cos x so ultimately we made three uh, you know things x y and f so if i plot x and f we'll get some plotting this is x and f but now i wish that what i have made for x and x y this one graph x y and x f this another graph should be seen on a single plotting for that i may plot x comma y this is one plotting and x f will be the another plotting so see we have two graphs or two plot in a single figure and uh, there is a clear difference if i wish to make more uh, you know uh, they to be seem quite different for that what i can do i can introduce certain characters for example i can introduce a single slash with this this is what we are getting and also double slash so this is for this uh, particular uh, plotting and this double is for this plotting now let me run it you will feel the difference this is the difference these are the dotted lines if i vary it with dot you will see more you will see that two uh, plot will look entirely different okay this is the difference this is the dotted one this is the uh, this is the dot this is with differences and uh, one more thing that uh, if i want grid also to be there then i can always turn the grid on by grid on so we have grid on and if uh, i want grid to be off then simply grid off and since there are two they may be more so we can also add the legend so legend will automatically uh, you know come up and it will actually tell you that which of the plot is uh, data 1 and which one of the uh, two is data 2 So these are the all the possibilities for uh, scatter graph thank you so much take care of yourself